Well, we're back here where the uh, split out filter was, and uh, what I've done is installed these new multi cyclone, uh, I think they're 16s, uh, cyclone 50 here. Anyhow, uh, what they do is they separate out the water, um, or the debris from the water, down to 30 microns, which is reasonable. And uh, for what we're doing, this is negative edge pump. So uh, water comes in, uh, three inch intake, comes out three inch now, splits through a big jandy, comes up through a water clone, water uh, multi-cyclone there from Waterco, over through the heater. It's set up here on this pedestal because that's how they had to do it. Since it's retro, I didn't want to redo a whole bunch of plumbing, so I left the uh, chlorinator there like that. And that goes out to a floor cleaner that they have in the basin right there through a caretaker system. The other side comes off, goes down uh, through the uh, multi-cyclone cleaner and right back out into the bottom of the pool through that check valve there. So... Anyhow, uh, so far it's been working really good, uh, whereas before I was trying to cram, uh, well, we had a pump that could do 200 gallons a minute, and it was restricted by a TR-60, probably doing about 75, 80 gallons a minute through it. Um, so now we're moving uh, probably right at the 200. There's Actually, if the basket gets a little dirty, I start to get a little bit of noise out of the pump, so uh, we're moving as much water as possible. And... Um, uh, gosh, we're probably moving right at 200 gallons a minute, probably somewhere around 70 or so, maybe 80 through the uh, vertical one because I've got some back pressure off that heater, and then through the other, probably near 135, which is what these things are rated, rated for. So anyhow, I'll shoot one video here coming up of it uh, actually operating.